fighting crime from above. Tonight, the defenders are showing you how crime fighting just got more advanced in Oakland County. And that's because of a new camera system that is helping the Oakland County Sheriff's Office track down criminals. I have to tell you, Jason, it's really cool. It looks fun. I recently went up with the deputies to see firsthand how it's all done. Tonight, you get a rare behind the scenes look. It's a Monday morning and deputies Bill Christensen and Phil Heckman are headed to work. Aviator glasses on. The local four defenders are coming along too. Their office is here in the Oakland County Sheriff's helicopter. We're out of uh, Pontiac airspace. They're crime fighters in the sky. We see a lot of break and entering B&Es. We assist on that because it gives you a different perspective from the air. You know, we can get there quicker. On this day, we're checking out the latest crime fighting tool. So this is our zoom button, and then this button selects between uh, color and the infrared. A high-tech camera system. We've uh, got kids that uh, play PlayStation or Xbox. She'll, uh, You'll notice that the uh, controller is very similar to it. That helps the pilots zoom into and track criminal activity. Once you enter the address, the camera automatically slews to this magenta cross here. Then the cameras zero in on the address, even if you're miles away in a different city. It's very much like the military uses. Streets are labeled, even house numbers. Our most common call for service is uh, just looking for somebody, whether that somebody is a a fleeing suspect, a missing Alzheimer's patient, a missing dementia patient. If the deputies are assisting in a car chase, I put the crosshairs on a moving car and hit the track button, it will automatically follow the car. And certainly in a vehicle pursuit, I can slow the officers down on the ground because I'll be able to give them updates, real time updates on where the fleeing vehicle is going and hopefully uh, you know, get that dynamic situation, bring it down a couple notches where the, the suspect vehicle actually slows down too. During this flight, officers get a call, a possible break-in at an empty school in Pontiac. Within minutes, we're on the scene. We can see the, the rooftop, we can see vehicles that are there, people there moving around. From the air, deputies can check out the roof so officers don't have to search that area, saving them valuable time. Later in the day, the Oakland County Sheriff's Chopper responds to the search for a murder suspect in Troy. He's on the loose, schools on lockdown. Later, the suspect is found on a golf course. We're up here designed specifically to to reinforce what they're doing on the ground and help them out. And this new camera system is also going to help officers on the ground, eventually sending them video real time of a crime scene to the officers' phones or squad cars. Imagine yourself out on the scene, uh, you're not sure what's behind the uh, house and you don't want to go walk back there. The officer will be able to look at what we're looking at in real time and go, okay, it's safe to go back there. Crime fighting from the sky just got a little more high tech. The Oakland County Sheriff's Department has two choppers flying some about 10 to 20 hours a week on average, but they are definitely working hard and really making a difference in responding to these scenes. Changing the way they even go about law enforcement. I mean, if you don't have to go charging around the back of a house or of a right. building and knowing what you're, what's you there. You know what you're going into. Right. You can lower the speed for police chases. I yeah. mean, they're doing some great Much stuff. Much safer. Very cool. Plus, it was a cool assignment. Yeah, people are already asking where you got those glasses. I can't tell you.